Ever found it hard to put down your phone or stop playing a video game? We've all been there, but when does it cross the line into addiction territory? Let's dive in. Addiction is a complex condition, a brain disease that's characterized by compulsive substance use or engagement in a rewarding activity, despite harmful consequences. It's the compulsive need that's key here, folks. It's not just about drugs or alcohol. You can be addicted to many things like social media or video games. Picture this, you're scrolling endlessly through feeds or battling virtual foes for hours on end, even when it starts causing issues in your life. Doesn't sound too fun, does it? And that's the crux of it. These behaviors, when they become compulsions, they're no longer just hobbies or pastimes. They're addictions. Recognizing addiction is the first step towards overcoming it. So let's take that first step together, shall we? Addiction can sneak up on anyone and students are no exception. Let's dive into two prevalent examples, social media addiction and substance abuse as a coping mechanism for academic stress. First up, social media addiction. It's when you find yourself constantly checking your phone, seeking validation through likes, or comparing yourself to others online. This can lead to feelings of inadequacy and can rob you of precious time. To tackle this, try setting screen time limits and engaging more in real-life interactions. Next, substance abuse. It often stems from a desire to escape from academic stress. It's when students turn to substances, legal or illegal, to cope with the pressure. This is dangerous and can lead to serious health concerns. If you're feeling overwhelmed, it's essential to seek help. Reach out to a trusted friend, teacher, or counselor. Knowing the signs of addiction can help you make healthier choices. Battling addiction may seem tough, but there are strategies you can use to regain control. Let's take a look at four key strategies that can help you overcome addiction. First, it's about knowing yourself. Be mindful of your habits and your feelings. If you notice that you're spending too much time on a certain activity, or if it starts to interfere with your daily routine, it's a sign that you might be slipping into addictive behavior. It's not always easy to see, but self-awareness is the first step towards overcoming addiction. The second strategy is seeking help. Addiction can feel isolating, but remember you're not alone. Reach out to friends, family, or teachers. There's no shame in admitting that you're struggling. In fact, it's a sign of strength to ask for help when you need it. There are also many professional resources available, from therapists to support groups, that can provide you with the tools and encouragement you need. The third strategy is replacing bad habits with healthy ones. This isn't about quitting cold turkey. It's about finding a healthier activity that can help you cope with stress or fill your time. Maybe it's going for a walk, picking up a new hobby, or learning a new skill. The point is to create positive habits that can help you resist the pull of addiction. Finally, setting limits on potentially addictive activities is crucial. It's okay to enjoy things, but it's important to set boundaries. Decide how much time is okay to spend on an activity and stick to those limits. Setting limits helps you maintain balance in your life and prevents you from falling into addictive patterns. Remember, overcoming addiction isn't a one-time event. It's a journey, and it's okay to have setbacks. What matters is that you keep trying, keep pushing, and keep believing in your ability to regain control. With these strategies, you can take control of your life and beat addiction. Addiction is a challenge, but it's one you can overcome. Remember, it's about recognizing when something becomes a problem, seeking help when needed, and replacing harmful habits with healthier ones. By understanding addiction and using these strategies, you're equipped to lead a healthier, happier life.